Galaxy soccer star David Beckham has tonight produced his trademark brilliance in an enthralling Hyundai Club Challenge match with Sydney FC. Neil Cordy watched from the Telstra Stadium stands. Neil, the match literally had everything. Brad, absolutely no question about that. Every one of the 80,000 plus fans, including me, got every cent's worth of entertainment. There was sendings off, goals galore, and most importantly, David Beckham showing his full range of skills for the full 90 minutes. This is how this amazing match unfolded. A packed house on a Tuesday night, all there to see one man. A glimpse of David Beckham sending the female contingent into a frenzy. The home side doing their best to steal back the limelight. Sublime pass from Juninho handing Alex Bross the breakthrough. Great chance! 1-0! Alex Bross scores! 1-0 down and Beckham tried to blast the Galaxy back into contention. Beckham! David Beckham! But this was quickly turning into a Sydney spectacle. Bross is onside! Alex Bross gives it via second! It's on for post! And then disaster. The Galaxy start crashing awkwardly down to earth. And that's his problem left ankle. He's had issues with that ankle. Beckham managed to find his feet, bringing a sigh of relief to the crowd. Ruben Zatkovic quick to get them shouting once again. Great ball here. And that's a fantastic effort. The Galaxy's frustrations reaching boiling point. A nasty foul on Sydney's own marquee man, Juninho, turning a friendly into a feud. But that was soon forgotten, thanks to a moment of sheer Beckham brilliance. It's a bender! It's a classic! It is a Beckham! The free-kick maestro with a trademark screamer just before the break. At the resumption, some overzealous muscle from Robbie Middleby left Beckham fired up and pointing the finger. His teammate ensuring the scoreboard continued to tick over. Edson Buttle finding the back of the net. Brosk deciding to share the spoils. Here's Brosk. Will it be a hat-trick? No, it won't, but it will be another Sydney goal. A scoreline that left LA seeing red. A bit of afters as well. The two teams again at each other's throats and for good reason. Kevin Harms' unsportsmanlike work earning an early shower. The two teams scoring another goal apiece before the final whistle. Beckham's almighty performance sending a capacity crowd home very happy. Scott McKinnon for Sports Tonight. So an official crowd of 80,295 very, very happy fans. This is how it unfolded. The, the Sydney FC scored the first three goals. Brosk with a pair before Ruben Zadkovic added a third. And then just before halftime, the fans really got their money's worth when David Beckham curled one of his signature free kicks into the top corner and gave Clint Bolton no chance. The uh, visitors came back within the game when Edson Buttle uh, got within a goal and it was 3-2 before they ran away. 5-3, an amazing scoreline. And this is what David Beckham had to say after the match. Um, it's been an enjoyable time for, for the players since we arrived. Um, you know, Sydney FC, they're a very good team. They play great football. They've got a manager that obviously wants to play great football and they've done that tonight. It's the first time that I've been to this country. It's a country that I've wanted to come for many years. And, uh, you know, to score here and to have the fans, the amount of fans that turn up tonight, I think, you know, it's a credit to the country. We've enjoyed tonight. I think, uh, you know, obviously losing, but, you know, that happens. So, uh, when the first tackle on David, it was unnecessary. Why would you, you know, kick him like that? And that, that triggered it all. Of course, the way you react, that's not good. But you can understand also why they reacted like that. Root Hullet there again just showing there's no such thing as a friendly in football once they get over that white line. But uh, the, so many fans really appreciated what David Beckham did tonight after he took that very heavy knock on his ankle, the one that he'd been carrying an injury with over so many uh, recent months. And he played on, played the full 90 minutes and they appreciated it. And Brad... The shirt of David Beckham didn't go to uh, me. Juninho was the lucky one to pick it up. 